I'm not afraid of this world. I do not fear this world, but I fear for this world. I do not fear this world, but I fear for this world. And this is the foundation of my hope. I don't need to fear this world because God created this world and he created the world for us and created us for this world. I don't need to fear my co-human beings because God's love and the holy law of this world connects all humans to be brothers and sisters if they want it or not. Jesus Christ, God's Son, just like we all are God's children, Jesus Christ lived in harmony with the law of Father in Heaven and our Mother Earth. He reminded us of our responsibility and he showed us how it is possible to live in this responsibility. And because of this responsibility that I feel inside, I feel it deep inside of me, and when I think about it, it, it fills me and it moves me. This responsibility, I cannot deny it, I cannot run away or hide from it. Out of this responsibility comes my fear for this world, my worry about this world, my anxiety of for this world, the world of my co-human brothers and sisters, the future of future generations, also the world of my environment, the trees, the grass, the animals, birds, insects, water, air, God's creation as a whole. The fear for the world is getting more and more reasonable if we look around us in the present situation of the world. Wherever we look, it seems man has forgotten about his responsibility for this world. He has forgotten to fear for this world, to worry for this world, and to take responsibility for this world. Fukushima, Ukraine, Nigeria, Kenya, Somalia, Syria, Palestine. Brazil, no matter how glamorous the World Cup is, what about the children living and dying in the streets, the indigenous people bereft of their land and their dignity, the poor and the sick? If you listen to the news, that might scare you. You might get a feeling of being afraid of this world. That is why so many people are closing their eyes and ears, pretending not to see, not to know about the situation, pretending not to know what to do, how to take responsibility. But are we not Christians? Did Jesus be afraid of this world? Did he teach you to be afraid of this world? And the situation in that time was not much better. No, he definitely did not. But he feared for this world. He feared for the fate of the people. He feared for you because he loves you. And he loves God's creation. And this worry, this fear is not like panic. It is not like being afraid of something that makes you run away or close your eyes. No, to fear for this world encourages me. It is supposed to encourage you. It gives hope and power to have courage. And courage is the ability to overcome fear of things that threaten what I have fear for, that is endangering what I worry about. Thus my fear for this world becomes a fearless anxiety, a stimulating anxiety that takes away my fear of taking responsibility. I am afraid of war and I fear for peace. I am afraid of war and I fear for peace. The hope that peace can be gives me power and courage to dare peace and to risk resistance against war, to risk resistance against injustice, to risk resistance against environmental pollution. Think of Gandhi's word, there is no way to peace, peace is the way. Hatred, defamation, hostility, fanatism, vanity, craving for recognition, craving for power, aggression, Weapons or violence itself can never establish nor service peace. Today's politics are war politics. Today's preventive measures are war measures. Today's lifestyle is war against our environment, war against justice and freedom, war against our own children and their future. 
I want to do without any of such because I am not afraid, but I want to risk peace. I want to dare justice and love. God's peace shall be my peace.